What is happening folks? Another day, another vlog. I'm really not sure what's going to happen today but um, should be interesting unless we're about to head out in a few minutes. Just finished getting ready and stuff, the weather is looking half decent um, and um, yeah, well, I'm not sure what we're going to get into today, it's a surprise for me as well. So yeah, let's go. Oh, remember to subscribe and like when you watch these videos, leave a comment at the end and share it with your friends. Yeah, done now. Ah, there go. What is good folks, so today is going to be a complete voiceover of the vlog. Uh, as you can see we went to Sea Moon Beach again but we went to a different section this time and you know, the waves were just too loud to try and talk there. Um, you know, as you can see it's a very very beautiful view, just amazing man, the power of the sea and the waves and everything. It's just sick man, you have to go there, you know, if you're from Grenada or plan on visiting, really really nice place to see. And then this is the airport, this is actually Pearl's airport but it's not in use anymore because now they use the airport in St. George's and um, people are just using it really right now for grazing cattle and farmland and then you can see like the hills in the back that is where the Araraks and the Caribs used to live the indigenous people of Grenada and then yeah just a view again just looking out over the sea man you know small little islands on the, in the sea sorry not on the sea in the sea and um, yeah it's unfortunate that this beach hasn't been cleaned up in a while but you know, it would be a really nice place if it was. A few moments later. And um, yeah, this is just like when we were just driving up into Soter's, it's on the way. Just again, just farmland or, or bush, whatever you want to call it, that sort of area. And then there was a lot of stuff growing, cacao, nutmeg, just different fruits and stuff. And then we actually managed to get some nutmeg like pods, you'll see in the next clip I think. Yeah, this is it. This is how nutmeg actually grows on the tree. It's a fleshy part on the outside and obviously the hard nutmeg on the inside which you use for like, you know, seasoning, juices, cakes and stuff. You know, you know how nutmeg runs, man. And then, yeah, this is the view. I don't remember exactly where we was for this part of the trip. We were still on the way to Soter's, but this is a view just from a higher part in Grenada, man. Absolutely amazing. You can see the blue sea from here. I know you can see it. Um, a couple of houses down within the bush and um, yeah man amazing views and again I wasn't able to talk because the wind up there you can see the tree the way the trees moving the wind up there would have been crazy would have been burning whoa my fault huh? would have been burning your ear holes all that sort of thing so I thought you know what it's just easier for me to do a voiceover once I you know do all the editing and stuff but um, yeah man amazing amazing views Grenada's got a lot of amazing views man and then yeah just the houses again one hour later and this is actually when we first got into Soter's we were just driving through the main road quite a nice place very quiet but um yeah a nice place it looked like world run and stuff uh, up in the north of Grenada and then obviously this is the restaurant which we actually ate in I, I think it was called Helena's I'm sure it was called Helena's restaurant and it was on um I think this beach is Barfway. If I'm wrong, I'll write, you know, I'll put a little caption on the screen, but I think this was Barfway. And um, yeah, an amazing beach, amazing restaurant. The food was really nice. And uh, this is Levera Beach. So this is where the turtles actually come to lay their eggs in the sand. Um, There's a certain time of the year they come to do it. Uh, obviously, it wasn't this part of the year, but um, yeah, they come here, lay their eggs in the sand, so they're. Uh, babies when they hatch can get back into the water easily and I don't know if you can see but that dome sort of looking island someone actually owned a house on that island and I think you can go and you know rent it out and stay there for a night or two and um, it's just you on the island so uh, hopefully yeah there we go the little white house you can see it right there um, yeah someone someone from Grenada owns it and people just go over there and stay I don't know what what sort of you know environment is over there what kind of animals are on the island but boy uh, I might try it one day, see what happens. But again, yeah, just deliver our beach, man. Really nice place. It's a, it's a it's a good little drive to get into it, to be honest. Um, you know, hopefully they can sort it out one day. But it is a good little drive to actually get down to this part of the beach, man. But otherwise, amazing that you can see blue 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 sea. <laughs> I was gonna say blue sky, blue sea, all that sort of stuff. 
And um, yeah, this is just like a little um, information on the turtles that actually come up onto the sand and you know lay their eggs and all that sort of thing, man. And uh, yeah, it's very, very informative. Very, it would have been nice to see the next day. So hey, it's my lizard, mate. If you're wondering why I'm recording the lizard, we play this game every morning. He comes up here and. Um, just try to get as close as possible as I can to him. One day, you know, maybe he'll let me, you know, pet him or whatever. But yeah, as soon as I get too close, man, just scampers away ASAP. Eight hours later, and then this is the game we went to, um, actually in Grenville. It was Pearls versus Saab, I believe. Decent game. The level was pretty good as well. Um, Pearls actually won the game, but I was informed that Pearls won most of their games, so. Boy, it was it was a decent game, man. Very very entertaining. Yeah, yeah, so. Two days later, and then this is the game we actually went to. Um, this is Karani James Stadium. This game was down in St George's. There was two different games. On. I can't remember all the names of the team. I do remember some, but I ain't gonna say one name. Oh, but that's that's disrespectful. So I ain't gonna say no names. This was the stadium. Unfortunately, I didn't record while the games were going on. But um, yeah, nice stadium. Really really nice stadium. Nice size football pitch, and um, yeah, the vibes in the stadium were cool. It had music going. Uh, there were more people there for the second game compared to the first game, so there's a lot more noise, a lot more you know interaction from the fans with the players and stuff. But um, yeah, man, dope, dope, dope vibes. Really enjoyed it. Cool stuff. What is good, guys? So it is a couple days later, and um, yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog off here. Yeah, the vlog was a bit mad. Had to do the voiceover, all that sort of stuff. I actually really hope I do the voiceover now because I'm going to look stupid if I say this I don't do the voiceover in the editing but um, yeah just a lot of different things are happening it's not always easy like to um, what's the word to kind of talk while I'm there because you know there's waves crashing or there's like windy area or like a lot of noise going on I don't want to be there screaming or trying to you know shout over the noise in the background and then the, you know the, the quality of the sound is not there so um yeah, I'd prefer just to show you guys the scenery and you know either like write a comment or um, kind of voice over what it is I'm looking at or what I'm showing you, all that sort of thing. And um, yeah, I mean that's what's happened. It's been yeah, we've had like some exciting days, some chill days. So it's kind of been difficult to put one together um, this time. But uh, yeah, hopefully things kind of get um, more smooth. And um, yeah, we just go from there. But thank you for watching again. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace. And if you're wondering what that music is, um, yeah, I don't know who down there has got that music going on, but it's lit. Not gonna lie, it's very lit. A nice way to wake up in the morning. But anyway, I'm out.